Hey there, I'm Link the Cooking Camper along with Zena the Glamper Camper. And we are back with another pasta for three from the Dollar Tree. So we've got nine ingredients here and we will show you guys what we got. We have five ounces of spicy chili lime Baja Limon tortilla chips, a four ounce squeezy pack of jalapeno Velveeta, 5.9 ounces of the Cheetos four cheesy mac and cheese. We have our six slices of Texas, Texas garlic toast. Today we're going with elbow macaroni, 20 ounces. And we've got Pace Red Mild Enchilada Sauce, a 10.5 ounce can. Nine ounces of this home style select nacho cheese dip. A four ounce squeezy of Ortega Mild Taco Sauce. And a 10 ounce jar of the Mexicali White Nacho Cheese Sauce. Now just like our other videos, I am just going to speed this part up and I will tell you guys what we did. The cheesy sauce ingredients got added to a saucepan except for the jalapeno mac and cheese sauce. That was mixed into the cheese powder for the mac and cheese. Once I had the mac and cheese boiled, I put it on top of the garlic bread and then everything else what that was in the cheese sauce went onto the normal pasta and then it got topped with the crunchy chips. I baked this at 425 for 15 minutes and it looked so tasty. Our jalapeno mac and five cheese garlic bread and spicy atomic enchilada pasta are done. Let's eat. Okie dokie. So yet again, we actually ended up eating this. This just like super fogged the camera. Okay, there we go. We ended up eating this without Mr. Cameraman's mom. And interestingly enough, we have tons of it left over. And I have a couple theories for that. The first one is the elbows are smaller. So they don't fit as well on a fork. Like when you go to pick it up, a bunch of them will fall off. So it takes more bites. I don't know, maybe that's totally stupid, but I literally just thought about that. The other thing is, is it tastes good, but it's not like amazing. So maybe our brains just told us not to eat as much. I'm not sure. But last night, me and Mr. Cameraman basically ate about half of it. And this is about a third or a quarter of what's left. So interesting. Maybe you care. Maybe you don't. I don't know. There is going to be some renaming, however. The pasta, while it does taste like enchiladas and it's a hint of spicy, it's not really spicy enough that I would call it spicy. So we're just gonna go with Atomic Red Enchilada Pasta. Atomic Red because these chips are literally like so fake red. I don't know if I've ever seen a chip so fake red before. Then this, the garlic bread you guys, tastes absolutely amazing. I love how almost like dried and a little bit crunchy the noodles got in the oven. These are 10 out of 10, definitely 100 million percent recommend. But the jalapeno is not like prominent. Like you, when you eat it, you're kind of like, ooh, what kind of cheese is that? So this is being just named the mac and five cheese garlic bread. The jalapeno, I mean, it almost gives like a peppery jack kind of feeling. You can't like point out the jalapeno though, I don't think. So overall... I mean, amazing and delicious, but not like my favorite thing in the world. But you should definitely, definitely, definitely try these. And you should definitely go eat your food with gladness and drink your wine with a joyful heart for God has already approved what you do. Ecclesiastes 9-7. Well, if you liked this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to hit that bell so that you never see, that, so that you never miss the next time me and Zena upload a new video. Get out and enjoy what God has given us and get out and enjoy nature and food as much as we do. Have a great one.